All right, let's talk about what's been going on with some of the biggest names in gaming recently. You know, those triple A titles that everyone waits for with bated breath, expecting them to be the next big thing? Well, lately, they've been falling flat and it's got the whole gaming community buzzing. Let's start with Starfield, Bethesda's long-awaited space epic. This game was supposed to be a game changer, a decade in the making. But when it finally dropped, the reviews were, let's just say, underwhelming. Despite all the hype, Starfield ended up being a bit of a disappointment for many players. It sold decently because, let's face it, it's Bethesda, but the game didn't hit that critical sweet spot everyone was hoping for. It's like waiting years for a blockbuster movie only to find out it's just okay. Not exactly what you wanted, right? And Starfield isn't alone. Other big triple A games like Redfall and Forspoken have also stumbled hard. Redfall, in particular, had a rough ride. This vampire co-op shooter from Arcane Studios, the folks behind Dishonored and Deathloop, seemed like a sure bet. But instead, it was riddled with bugs, weak mission design, and felt incomplete. It became the most abandoned game of 2023, with nearly 19% of players dropping it before finishing. That's brutal. Then you've got Forspoken, an action RPG that looked promising but ended up being forgettable. It's the kind of game that makes you wonder how something so polished on the surface could feel so empty inside. Add to this list other titles like Atomic Heart and Skull Island, Rise of Kong, and you've got a trend big budget, triple A games that just aren't living up to the expectations. So what's going on here? Why are these triple A games struggling so much? A big part of it might be the insane expectations. These games are hyped to the heavens, and when they don't deliver, the backlash is fierce. But it's also about the industry itself. There's a huge pressure to produce massive games with cutting-edge graphics and endless content, but sometimes the essence of what makes a game truly great gets lost in the process. Interestingly, while these AAA games are faltering, indie games are stepping into the spotlight. Take Baldur's Gate 3, for example. It's a game that blends deep storytelling with rich gameplay, reminding everyone why they love gaming in the first place. This shift is leading more gamers to look towards indie developers for innovation and fresh experiences. It's a fascinating contrast. The bigger the budget, the bigger the fall, it seems, while smaller studios are capturing the magic that the giants are missing. In short, the gaming landscape is changing. Gamers are getting tired of flashy but shallow experiences and are craving something with substance. Unless the big studios figure out how to bring that back, we might see even more players turning to indie games for their fix.